say good Lord. We say bad Lord. You say good Lord. We say bad Lord. You say good Lord. We say bad Lord. We say bad Lord. We want living wage. When do we want it? Now. We want living wage. When do we want it? Now. We're basically striking to get the London living wage and bonuses that we've missed out on, benefits that we don't have anymore. Up until January this year, uh, we were all employed on rolling fixed term contracts, six months. But back in November 2020, management told us that they would not be renewing our fixed term contracts, but offering us new permanent contracts on much lower rates of pay, uh, less than the London living wage. We were also promised that we would be getting bonuses and sort of increase in salary throughout the year, so we're missing out on that as well. And it's not like the company is struggling financially. They've reported, you know, incredible year-on-year -year growth. I believe it's 200% year-on-year growth. Um, healthy profits. This is simply just greed. Before they, they announced it, they always keep saying that it would be a very good change, it would be a very happy change. Uh, we look looking forward to this, we hope that you guys are looking forward to this. So, of course, in our heads, uh, because of the management promotions, we're thinking, oh, so it, it will be like pay rises then. But then, of course, when they announced it was like a really high pay cut. We say bad law. We say bad law. We say bad law. Their rationale is that uh, because they decided that we could all work from home now, uh, because we've been doing it during the pandemic, that we didn't need to live in London and therefore they didn't need to pay us what the London living wage is. We determine if a tenant has the income to rent. So we make an assessment on them if they're financially stable. By the company standard, we wouldn't be able to live in any kind of rental place in London. A lot of us have dependents, family, children. We're not leaving this city just because you don't want to pay us anymore. They've also said that the rest of the company is getting slight loss as well in their salary, but we don't see it as anywhere near as much as they, we're getting in referencing. It's a completely unreasonable and unrealistic expectations that people can just fall back into some kind of support system, parents maybe. I'm not sure that what kind of world they are living, that we are just going to leave the city we set up our life in. I'm signed on to a 12 month lease, so I can't really just very well move out. I've lived in London nine years now. Um, I don't see why I should be pushed out uh, because my employers decided that they don't need me to live in London anymore. When they told us this, I was living in Battersea. Um, I was quite comfortable, I was happy with where I was living. I had to move back in with my parents and I've been living there for the last couple of months. I'm 25 years old, I should be independent and they've taken that away from me. You're telling me I can't live in London, I have to move. During the pandemic, it's out of the question. People like myself, I have an autoimmune disease. So if I catch the coronavirus, it could be fatal. And I'm struggling to make payments as it is with my medication and chemotherapy. I'm surprised it's legal. Good Lord does boast constantly about how much they are making. They uh, continuously remind us that they are breaking records, that they are doing really, really well. From our experience, the letting industry hasn't been affected at all by the pandemic. We haven't seen any evidence that the, that the volume of work we're getting is being affected. If anything, uh, we're having record years this year. They're taking on new staff right now as we speak. We know that immediately prior to the pandemic, they received £10 million in investment money and also they acquired a competitor. We say bad law. We say good law. We say bad law. It started off as a startup company in 2017. So they have like this, uh, this culture, this family type of culture where everyone's together. They like to present themselves as the nice face of the lettings industry, as a new enlightened startup type thing. When I joined referencing, the referencing department wasn't that big at all. Before we moved to this office, we were in a much smaller office because the company grew really quickly. And you would hear comments such as, oh, it would be so much better if the referencing people wouldn't be here. We would have more space, which, you know, it was a bit sad, but we were thinking, you know, the more we grow, maybe the more they'll realize it's like actually you no know, reference in the department's doing well. But of course that, that never happened. They just decided to just cut us off completely and just make us a remote workers. The places that we now work in haven't been proof checked to see if it is GDPR compliant. Data is very loose. Anyone can access it. So we are told that we shouldn't work in communal places, in our houses. I know for a fact that many people during the lockdown were working literally from their beds because they are living in London in a tiny apartment which can barely afford <laughs> with loads of people. My room that I live and sleep in is now an office. So when I finish my shift, I'm still in that environment of work. And it's been like that for a year. 
Mental health has plummeted. I have colleagues that have had panic attacks, that have had depression. My job involves like taking phone calls from the clients, so the agents and the tenants and the guarantors as well. There is that whole thing of uh, you know whether you're going to pass or not pass, and of course it all depends on the landlord. So you know it's it's not a decision to make whether the person is a good or bad tenant. People can get angry and they can be very rude on the phone. So I think working in the office, you know, this negativity, those bad phone calls just stay in the workplace, and I can go to my home to enjoy. Right now, you're taking those fat phone calls in your house and this negativity stays in your house as well. Of course, it's nice to work from home now and then, but doing it permanently every single day, um, I think like this just made me feel terrible. I think people need to reconsider when they are applying to live somewhere using good laws because at the moment I think it's unfair to help a company out uh, when they don't pay their employees fairly. We're united, our morale is high, unites behind us all the way and we're going to stay out until uh, we get a living wage. It would be amazing if you would be able to come down and pick up with us if you obviously if you're like you can but also please just like, follow, share our story wherever you come to stop companies to doing the same outrageous thing to other people than this company is doing to us. We say good laws! We say bad laws! We say bad laws! We say bad laws! We want to live in wage when we want it now! We want to live in wage when we want it now!